The aim of the programme is to try and not only enthuse young people into the construction industry, but also to try and meet that gap that exists in the current education system. Today's workshop is a digital skills. So we're looking at how design drawings and how you use them to communicate information and then how you might use digital processes within a middle manufacture and an off-site manufacture and then we're getting them to actually build those elements and then we're taking them around some other projects that we have built or have been off-site manufactured within our factory. I think a lot of people they've got that kind of preconceived notion so it's nice to kind of shatter that and say yeah there's still that but there's other things as well and I think that's quite an exciting place to be. I always thought it was just freehand and I didn't know they'd had like, robots and big machinery and stuff, it makes it look a lot easier for them. I didn't really expect it to be like this, but I knew like, we got to see loads of different things. I like, heard about the trip and I just decided that I wanted to come because it's like the thing I wanted to do in a molder, so I just kind of wanted to come and see what it's like and I do really enjoy it. So. I liked it all, to be honest, but I don't think I've got for it. What you learn is amazing. It shows you more than what you already know. I would recommend it because it like, gives you a new perspective. No, I would recommend it to everyone. There's just nothing the same as doing, is there? And seeing and actually like tactile and being able to touch things and you know smell everything around you and like see what it would actually be like because we're here and this is actually where it's happening. So they could be working somewhere like this. So instead of just reading about it and thinking, oh yeah, that sounds all right, they can actually see it and go, do I think I would actually enjoy doing that? And it's yeah, just much more valuable for them. I would say. It takes a couple of years for the education system to catch up with some of the modern technologies and get the certifications and the qualifications and the, the programmes all written and we are able to try and plug some of that gap so that they get the guys that are in construction qualifications at the moment are, have an awareness of what's coming in the next few years.